The most mass fighter of the Second World War BF-109 was created by Willy Messerschmitt, the designer of Bayerische Flugzeugwerke Company, in the mid-1930s. The first flight of the prototype took place on May 28, 1935. It should be noted that the appearance of the BF-109 was of little interest to the Luftwaffe command, which favored the Heinkel NE-112 fighter. Only Messerschmitt's personal acquaintance with Rudolf Hess made it possible to obtain from the Luftwaffe an order for the first ten prototypes, which were put to very severe flight tests, which did not, however, reveal any significant advantages of the BF-109 over the Heinkel NE-112. The Civil War in Spain, which was used by the leading countries of the world as a kind of testing ground for their weapons, put an end to the competition between the two designers. Low serviceability and insufficient survivability of the Heinkel forced the Luftwaffe command to make the final choice in favor of the BF-109. In early 1937 it was accepted for service. By February of that year, 40 aircraft of the first production model BF-109B1 entered the skies of Spain. Messerschmitt BF-109 The design of BF-109 corresponded to a tendency which appeared by the mid-1930s to transition from air-cooled biplane fighters to water-cooled monoplane fighters. The front part of the relatively long and narrow, the maximum cross-sectional area was only 0.955 m. Metal fuselage was originally fitted with a Jamo 210 engine, then a DB600, and on later versions a DB601 or DB605. During serial production, the power of the aircraft increased from 700 to 1475 HP, and with the use of overdrive systems GM1 or MW50, the maximum power output could reach 1800 to 2000 HP. Located in the center of the fuselage, the cockpit was closed with a canopy, a center part that tilted to starboard, and a part that was behind the cockpit. Glazing of high-quality transparent plastic provided the pilot a good view in all directions. The cockpit was equipped with the necessary navigational instruments and instruments for monitoring the operation of aircraft systems. Under the pilot's seat and behind the cockpit there were two metal fuel tanks of total capacity of 400 L. Some modifications could be equipped with an extra fuel tank under the fuselage. The aircraft had a low-lying trapezoidal wing with a metal skin, riveted countersunk. It was notable for its extremely low weight. For example, the wing panels of Messerschmitt BF-109 fighters of B and D modifications weighed only 130 kg without armament. With the help of special docking units and a jack, the wing console could be replaced in the field by one or two mechanics. This was achieved due to the fact that the landing gear racks were not attached to the wing, and the power unit of the fuselage, and in flight retracted into the wing, where they had not closed the flaps recesses. Such a solution, however, cannot be recognized as ideal, the track of the landing gear was not wide enough, which, in turn, negatively affected the stability of the aircraft when taxiing on the runway and during takeoff. Retracting the landing gear was hydraulically operated and the wheels were equipped with hydraulic brakes. Messerschmitt BF-109 The tail of Messerschmitt BF-109 had one constructive feature, located approximately at the half keel height and resting on braces, the stabilizer was movable so that depending on the flight mode the pilot could change its installation angle. The imperfection of the stabilizer repositioning unit, which caused numerous aircraft accidents, was one of the rather extensive childhood illnesses that plagued the first versions of the aircraft. However, from the time it was adopted into service until the beginning of World War II, the German designers had ample opportunity to create and put into series production a fully mature modification of the BF-109E. Its top speed at 5000m was 570 km per hour, almost 100 km per hour more than that of the Soviet I-16 and I-153 fighters. It took 1 minute to climb to 1000 m, and it took 6.3 minutes to climb to 5000 m. The armament of the BF-109 increased at about the same rate as the power of its engines increased. The two 7.92 mm synchronous machine guns of the BF-109B modification were soon joined by two 7.92 mm wing-mounted machine guns, BF-109C1. On the BF-109E1, they were replaced with 20 mm guns. The BF 1093 was additionally equipped with a 20 mm cannon firing through the propeller shaft. Beginning in 1944, the BF 109 began to be equipped with the 30 mm MK 108 cannon, which had three times the projectile weight of the 20 mm cannon. As a fighter bomber version, 
the BF-109 could carry 450 kg bombs or one 250 or 500 kg bomb. Technical data of the BF-109 G6. Crew, 1 person. Maximum takeoff weight, 3,150 kg. Dimensions, length x height x wingspan, 9.02 x 3.40 x 9.91 m. Power plant, number of engines x power, 1 x 1,800 hp. Maximal flight speed at 7,000 m altitude, 621 km per hour. Rate of climb. 16 to 17 m slash s practical ceiling 11750 m flying range 720 kilometers armament 2x 13 millimeters mg 131 machine guns 3x 20 millimeters mg 151 slash 20 cannons maximum bomb load of the mi 109 g6 slash r1 variant up to 250 kilograms